Did you know that you can change the order of the plugins here in GarageBand iOS? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how and tell you why you would want to do it. Let's go. Welcome back to my GarageBand iOS 5-Minute Tip Series. If you'd like to learn a heap more about using GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description. To access plugins in order to add, remove, or change, we need to first tap on the mixer icon in the top left and then tap on plugins and EQ. And here's where you can adjust all of the settings for the plugins that are already on each track. Or you can remove them completely by tapping the edit button and then tapping on this, the red minus button, and then hitting delete. That will completely remove the plugin. To add one back in, we simply hit the plus button select from any of your built-in effects or audio unit extensions and add them in. So there's your basics, but now let's talk about changing the order of plugins because if we hit the edit button again, you'll notice that we get these three lines over here to the right. And what we can do is drag, tap and hold and drag the plugins and put them in a different location. So why would we do this? What if we wanted this EQ to happen before all of these effects? Well, all we need to do is tap and hold and drag and then drop it up the top here. It can't go above the noise gate because that's the first plugin in the chain and has to stay that way. And now if we hit done, what's happened is that this EQ is going to be processed before it goes through and processes the compressor, the reverb, the delay, or the overdrive. Let's hit edit again because I want this overdrive to actually be up here just after the EQ, but before the compressor. This means that it's it's going to be compressing the overdriven signal. So let's take a listen to this vocal with these plugin settings. Never had a heart of gold. Now that's okay, but let's just say that instead of having the overdrive here before my reverb and delay, I actually wanted those to be applied first. I can do the same again, hit edit, drag track reverb and track delay all the way up here, and then everything's going to be processed and then the overdrive, that distortion effect is going to be added at the end. Let's take a listen. So it don't matter just what you saw. So you can hear more of the reverb and the delay, and then the overdrive is being added after that. Now your compressor down the bottom here is happening at the very end of your chain. I don't want that, so let's hit the edit button again and bring the compressor up here before the EQ. Throw away what others need. Now I think that this vocal may be a little bit too treble heavy, so what we can do is we can adjust the EQ and remove some of that treble. And the cool thing is that with our plug-in order, we can make sure that this change happens before our effects happen there. Let's take a listen. You cause pain while others bleed out. Whereas if we hit edit and we move that EQ to the very bottom where it normally sits, it'll sound a little different. While others bleed out. Now the differences are going to be subtle. It's only really going to be heard if you've got some pretty extreme plugins here. But it's a good thing to have in your garage band knowledge bank so that you can actually adjust adjust your plugins and get your sounds sounding exactly as you intended. There you have it, really easy here in GarageBand to change the order of your plugins and therefore change the sounds in GarageBand. If you've got questions, drop those down below and check out the playlist with all my other GarageBand 5-Minute Tips. I'll see you next time.